What's up guys? Welcome back. Today's video is going to be kind of like a first impression um, review and then a talk through of just me doing my makeup. It's actually sponsored by Justin Hines Cosmetics. They sent me over this amazing package full of goodies. I haven't opened it yet, so we're going to be doing that together. I'm gonna be doing some swatches really quick on my hand and then we're gonna get right into it. So let's begin. So some things that you should know about them is that Justin Heights Cosmetic is an, is an indie brand launching sometime in 2018. So all of this stuff right now is just custom made and it's um, per order. So you automatically get amazing quality per each batch. And it's 100% vegan and cruelty free. Um, to order any products or have a custom made um, all you have to do is contact Justin Heinz Cosmetics via Facebook or Instagram and the um, what's it called the tag is or not tag the ad name is at Celtic underscore cosmetics and I'll drop that down below um, some shades are designed to be highly pigmented to create both looks with ease some shades are less pigmented in order to give the you know to give you more control to build the color to your liking and they're all pressed and um, made in the US. The theme is Paranormal Horror Brand Beauty. Pretty much every name that you see, it has something to do with like Halloween or the dark side, like vampire, like moons and stuff like that. So if you're into that kind of stuff, definitely check it out. Personally, me with drag and like Halloween, which is one of my favorite times of the year, this fits perfectly into what I always look for. Um, let me see. They can also make custom shades for you if you talk to them and ask. And okay, and then their products have also been featured and reviewed by another YouTuber by the name Ashley Oh hi, yes. Oh Ashley Oh yes, duh, I'm so dumb. Okay. I'll also look for her YouTube and then I'll drop the link down below as well. So those were pretty much the PR notes that um, I wanted to go through really quick with you guys before anything. Okay, and like I said, this is, I'm taking everything out of the bag. It comes with this really cool card. Okay, so first thing is eyeshadows. And then like I said, it is vegan, 100% cruelty free. And this one is 12 months, so that's a suggested lifespan for it. I know a lot of people just kind of use them and just replace them once they're done. This is it. And then the ingredients are mica, I'm not gonna go through them, but you can see all the ingredients in the back. These are so pretty. Oh my god, I love these colors. Okay, so this one right here, it's like a dark maroon. Then you have a green. They feel so buttery right off the bat. And I can tell they're super pigmented. Like just one thing with my fingers and look. Those are the first two colors. So I'm just gonna go ahead with the other one. Okay, so that's all of those in my fingers. This is the color. Now I'm gonna swatch them. They are super pigmented. Okay, so this was the eyeshadows. Justin Hines Cosmetics eyeshadows. It doesn't have the names of the eyeshadows. Um, maybe once like they're fully launched, they'll have a name or something to it. But as of right now, it doesn't. It just has, yeah, it just has the ingredients list. Okay, the next thing up is this little package. It says Believer. And I think this is part of their highlighter collection. Oh no, just kidding, it's an eyeshadow. So they do sell single eyeshadows and like I said it's cruelty free and it's good for 12 months. Oh my god. I think this bag wasn't handled to the best because it was crushed and it fell. Oh and it was such a pretty color too. Look at this. It's like a gold and I'm gonna swatch it here. 
holy crap, look how pretty that is. I am so sad, look. Okay, but this gold is amazing. It's like a chant. so sad. It literally all fell on my leg. Mm. Okay, so another one is I believe another single eyeshadow. Yes, ma'am. And this one is Berserk. Like I said, all of the colors are um, horror and stuff. <gasps> this one came out perfect. Okay, I'm in love. This is Berserk. It's like a maroon. Not really maroon. Like a, oh, it's like an orangey brick, like reddish kind of. In the back of my head. That's amazing. Look at that. All of this eyeshadow, like no primer, nothing, and they're so pigmented. Imagine with primer. With primer, I bet they're gonna be like intense. Oh, this one was out of the bag. Okay, this one fell out of the bag, and it's the Justin Hand Cosmetics Highlighter. It's cruelty free for 12 months, vegan. That's really cool. Oh man, it fell out of the bag, so I hope it's like fully intact. But the highlighter packaging is gorgeous. Oh my god, this one was broken. I am so sad. Fuck. Oh, fucking UPS guy. I bet you he dropped it or something. Okay, well, I'm gonna fix it, but my hand is literally shiny. I am so upset. But, okay, the highlighter looks gorgeous. Just look at that, look at my hand. Okay, so that was the highlighter. Okay, and then this is the eye frosting. It says, right here, eye frosting, all the ingredients in the back. And it suggests to set with the same color eyeshadow or translucent powder for best results. So I am guessing this is kind of like a liquid eyeshadow type of thing. Oh, there's two of them in here. Okay, so this is the eye frosting. This one is Deldi River. And this other one is Dusk. Okay, I really love how this is, like the little shape of this, like this little tooth. I think it's so cute. And we're just gonna put it right here. Okay, so Dusk. Oh, that's pretty. So that's definitely like a liquid eyeshadow, and like it does suggest to um, set it. So I'm guessing this one, you would set it with the Berserk, which is one of the loose eyeshadows that he sent me, which would make sense. And then, let me see the other one. This one is the Delti River. And now we're gonna try it right next to this one. Oh, that's so pretty. This is like a really nice blue. And then I just used a little bit and you can spread it around a lot. So the payoff for it is awesome. Okay, I'm literally, okay, you guys saw how much I used. I'm gonna spread it around and see how much I can get. And it's a metallic finish to this. Well, the dust one was a matte, like it's totally matte, but this one right here, the purple one, has a metallic shine to it. And then the last thing that I was sent was this right here. And then this is Justin Hines Cosmetic Apply Primer 5 Minutes Before Makeup Application. So this is a face and eye primer. That is so freaking cool. I've never heard of an indie brand that makes like a really cool primer. I'm super excited to try this out, especially since I have a lot of like pores here in my nose area. So this one, I'm not gonna smudge because I mean, it's just a primer. I'm pretty sure like once you put it on, it's gonna be translucent. But I will use it for this video and then at the end, I will let you guys know if I like it or not. And then the, like, the actual bottle itself, it's made out of glass and then it has this really cool pump right here. This just looks curious, like expensive. I said I wasn't, but I'm just gonna put a little bit here. Let's see how it feels. It does say to wait five minutes before you apply your 
foundation, so I'm guessing that's to like really set it. But it's creamy, it's nice. And it doesn't look like it's thick. It looks like it's actually going into like your pores. And it doesn't have any smell to it. Like no smell at all. Okay, so this was the eyeshadows. These are the first five colors that came in the one um, eyeshadow palette. This was the loose eyeshadow that was crumpled a little bit. This was the other loose eyeshadow. Well, pressed eyeshadow, I'm sorry. The single ones. So this was the single pressed, the other single pressed. This was the dusk eye frosting. This was the Delby River eye frosting. And then the highlighter, highlighter is literally all over me. And I have the primer here. So let me get all of this stuff out of my hands and then I'll be right back so I can actually start doing makeup. Alright guys, so that was it for today's um, tutorial. Definitely, I am absolutely in love with everything that I got from Justin Hines. I think the comedics are really, really good. They're well crafted. Um, there was the whole thing with the eyeshadow and the highlighter being broken, but like I said, I don't know if that has to do with the way that it was handled in the mail while you got here or anything like that. But regardless, the pigments are amazing. They are so, so pigmented and they're really creamy, they're buttery, they're easy to blend, I mean, just look at this. And I think the highlighter is super pigmented as well, it shines so bright, definitely compares to any big highlighter out there. And I'm super thankful for them, I will drop everything down below in the description, and I will also be posting it on my Instagram, so if you want to go ahead and follow me, it's at that Montoya Kid. Also follow me on Snapchat, it's at that Montoya Kid as well. And once again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and leave a comment down below as to what you guys want to see next from me. And then also start giving me ideas for my 30 days, 31 days of Halloween. As you guys know, I did that last year and I had a ton of fun. So I will be doing that again this year. So just let me know what you guys want to see and I will make sure that I get to it. And until next time guys, bye.